Faith and Freedoms Chairman, Dr. Ralph Reed. So glad to have you with us. Now, tell us, how significant is it to have former Vice President Pence speaking at this year's conference? Well, we're excited to have him. Uh, we've got an extraordinary lineup of speakers, senators, governors. Uh, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida is keynoting our gala. We're giving our Lifetime Achievement Award to former Speaker Newt Gingrich. Uh, we expect somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 attendees, the biggest road to majority ever. Uh, it's going to be quite a weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're curious, Ralph, and, and good to see you this evening. Uh, did you ask former President Donald Trump to speak, or was he invited? Uh, we sure did. Uh, uh, former President Trump has spoken six times to road to majority, three times as a private citizen or candidate, and three times as president. Uh, we look forward to having him in the future, and he was invited, and he's always welcome. Well, speaking of President Trump, just want to get your opinion. Who is at the helm of the Republican Party right now? Is President Trump the de facto leader of the GOP? Well, I think in a healthy and vibrant party that's out of power, which is where the Republican Party is right now, uh, there's no single, uh, you know, locus of leadership. Obviously, you've got congressional leadership. You've got governors. Uh, you have former President Trump, who still has a, a very important voice in the future of the party, uh, particularly should he decide to seek the nomination in 2024. So, you know, as with all other things, Trump, uh, it's not going to be boring. Uh, fasten your seatbelts and uh, get ready for what promises to be a very fascinating next three or four years. Uh, Ralph, within the past year, there's been a steady decline in Americans who identify as conservative. How do you hope to win them back, and, and what, what might be that strategy? Well, I think we're very confident and optimistic, and I think the, the first answer to your question is really simply stated, uh, the abysmal record of the current administration. I mean, they've been in office for a little more than 120 days. You've already had uh, a war in the Middle East, a crisis on the southern border, uh, anemic uh, employment numbers, uh, the highest inflation in 13 years. You know, that's after four or five months. Imagine what it's going to be like after four years. So I think this uh, radical left-wing agenda of tax, spend, borrow, regulate, uh, pro-abortion, anti-traditional family, a left-wing agenda is going to turn off a lot of people in the middle. And then I think yeah. the second answer to your question is a compelling agenda of our own that we need to develop, and that's what we're going to be laying the groundwork for at the Road to Majority Conference. Uh, Ralph, you know, you guys in an election year, of course, are on the ground. You're knocking on doors. Uh, you mm -hmm. are really boots on the ground. Um, you know, in this last election in 2020, what was the evangelical turnout like? Was it as high as it was in 2016? And what did you what did you see from evangelicals? You know, it's a great question, and uh, the answer is it was it was the largest turnout in modern American political history. Uh, according to exit polls, there were approximately 45 million self-identified born-again evangelicals who went to the polls. That's roughly 9 million more who went in 2016. Uh, their share of the electorate went from 26% in 2016 mm -hmm. to 28% in 2020, and it was even higher in the battleground states. So we did our job, mm -hmm. and President Trump and the candidates did their job. And we turned out the biggest vote we'd ever seen. If we can do that again in 2022, uh, mm -hmm. I think Nancy Pelosi is going to be enjoying her last months as speaker soon. All right. Ralph Reed with Faith and Freedom Coalition, thank you so much. And uh, best of luck with your event this week. Thank you very much.